Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are located. Thank you all so much for joining Amtrak Vacations for today's exciting presentation. Folks, any questions that you may have during today's presentation, please feel free to type those away in the question box located on the right-hand side of your screen, and we will save time at the end of today's presentation to answer any questions that you may have. Today's presentation is scheduled to be about 30 minutes, give or take, with questions. Also, please be sure to check that your device speakers are unmuted so you'll be able to hear us. And with that in mind, let's get started. Today, we are here to talk about round trip rail vacations on board Amtrak. My name is Jim Marini, proudly your host here today. And so excited to have all of you joining us. Now, we have lots to cover. And again, we're going to do this in about 30 minutes or so. And I do have an exciting announcement at the end of today's presentation. But we're going to talk about important things to know about traveling by train. Top round trip rail vacations to consider for your next vacation. Routing your vacation right from your local hometown Amtrak station. And then, as I mentioned, again, live question and answer at the end. With that in mind, for those of you who may not be as familiar with Amtrak Vacations, we are part of the Yankee Leisure Group family of brands. And if you look all the way to the left-hand side, yes, that is our Amtrak Vacations electronic brochure. We are the official tour operator here in the United States for Amtrak. So what does that mean? We take care of everything from rail plus hotels, meals, sightseeing tours, activities. We have packages all put together from literally two, three, four, five day weekend, week long getaways to one and two weeks long across the country, including the beautiful national parks. Now we also operate Yankee Holidays. That's the brochure you see right there in the middle of your screen. This is all of our road trips, our driving vacations. And all the way to the right hand side, Rail Bookers, our sister brand that does all of our Canadian, European, and worldwide rail vacations. And here's the best part, folks. Today, it's about our own backyard, where you can travel to right here, right now, in 2021, 2022, and even into 2023. Now, if you take a look at this map, folks, all those red lines, those represent all the different Amtrak trains throughout the United States. All the white dots on the red lines represent the train stations. And believe it or not, there's over 500 Amtrak train stations throughout the United States. The green lines, the light blue lines, those represent what we call our bus throughway service, which basically will take you and your friends and family into some of those great destinations where there may not be a train or a train station. Places such as Yellowstone National Park, Las Vegas, Nashville, and more. I love the question on the right hand side. Where can you travel to by train? Really what it should say is where can you not travel to by train? Do you know in the year 2019, over 33 million people traveled on board Amtrak, over 33 million people. So if Amtrak was an airline, it would actually be the sixth largest airline in all of the United States. But here's some fun questions that I have for all of you. And if the answers are yes to any of these fun questions that I have, folks, as I asked during my first and second session today, Amtrak Vacations is a great option for you. Number one, do you not like to fly? Number two, do you not feel like driving? Number three, are you looking for something different? Number four, do you want to just get out of your house and go somewhere? Number five, do you have a special anniversary or a special birthday coming up? Number six, were you planning to travel somewhere internationally and now want to travel domestically and see more of our own backyard? Number seven, we originally booked or planning to go on a cruise and no fault whatsoever to those fantastic cruise lines, but now you want to stay somewhere local. All right. Why not rail and place a sale? Whatever the reasons are, folks, there are so many great opportunities available. And as I mentioned, you can leave and travel. Yes, from today. Literally, you can travel from today, tomorrow, in the next one to two weeks, one to two months, anytime in 2021 up to 2023. Now, there's many reasons why travelers love Amtrak vacations, whether you or your local travel advisor are speaking to any of our rail experts who will give you and your travel advisor the best routes, the best different suggestions. As I mentioned, again, you can book from today and travel from today over into 2023. We do have our maximum flexibility offer going on right now, folks, which allows you 
that flexibility to be able to plan your trip now and have that ability to reschedule if need be. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. We also have the largest rail vacation selection, not only here in the United States, but around the world between Amtrak Vacations and our sister brand, Rail Bookers. And I love the last part in the bottom right-hand corner, no rail trip is too complicated for us. Did you know on any Amtrak vacation package, folks, you can customize, you can personalize any trip just the way you would like. Let me give you some examples. If you look in the top left-hand corner, you can add on any destination. Maybe you have friends and family who live in other parts of the country. You could visit them while tying in a great rail vacation of a lifetime. You can add extra nights. You can take any trip, round trip, right from your local Amtrak station. And as I mentioned, there's over 500 Amtrak stations in the United States that you can start or end your rail vacation at. So if any of you do not like to fly or you don't feel like driving, we got you covered. You can upgrade your rail ticket. You can add sightseeing tours or upgrade to private tours. So much flexibility, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, this is our maximum flexibility offer. Folks, any new reservation you make from today, through June 30th of this year to travel anytime in 2021, 2022, or even into 2023. If you book with a small deposit of only $250 per person, you automatically will qualify for our maximum flexibility offer as long as you book before June 30th of this year to travel anytime over the next one, two to three years. And this is how it works. If you did need to change or postpone your trip, we are waiving all change and cancellation fees. Basically, in a nutshell, giving each and every one of you that peace of mind to book now and to have something to look forward to. And speaking of looking forward to trips, let's talk about one of our first and certainly most grandest round trip rail vacations. This is known as our Grand Rail Experience. Now, if you look at the bottom of your screen, folks, as you can see, it starts in the great city of Chicago. It travels to Seattle, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Washington, D.C., and guess what? Back to Chicago. Now, what's the first train that you travel on board on your way to Seattle? You are looking at it. This is the Empire Builder. And this is one of our super liner double decker trains. This is the train, folks, that goes from Chicago out to Seattle. And it can either go east to west or west to east. One of our absolute best and most iconic trains in the fleet. Now, this trip also happens to include my old stopping ground, sunny Southern California, Los Angeles, home of Hollywood, home of Beverly Hills. And what I always like to say, home of weather that's in the 60s to 70s on an average with very little to no humidity. You know what's also included in this trip? the Amtrak Coast Starlight. When you talk about a train that literally nestles and cradles some of those cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean, that is the Amtrak Coast Starlight. Now this trip also includes the great city of New Orleans, otherwise known as New Orleans, right? Where we offer an optional paddle wheel boat cruise, where you have an opportunity to experience that great jambalaya, that Cajun style cuisine. Also, Cafe Du Monde, famous for its delicious beignets, which is fried dough with cinnamon and sugar. I could go on and on about the cuisine, folks, in New Orleans. It is absolutely fantastic. So much to see and do here. Now, I have a suggestion for each and every one of you that may have New Orleans on your wish list or your bucket list. Consider upgrading to the Hotel Monteleone. And what you're looking at right here, this is a picture of the Carousel Bar, one of the only bars in the United States that literally revolves morning, noon, and night, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Absolutely amazing. All right worth the upgrade. This is located in the heart of the French Quarter, right off of Bourbon Street, which is really where you want to be. Great restaurants, great nightlife, great music, jazz, blues, rock and roll. I could go on and on. But see, this trip also includes our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. And in Washington, D.C., we offer what's called Monuments to Moonlight. It's an optional tour and it's worth every penny. I took my family on that trip about four years ago where you get a chance to see all the great and special monuments in the evening when they are all illuminated. Now, if you take a look at this map, folks, on the right-hand side, those red lines represent the different trains. The number one, the number two in a red triangle, that just tells you those are overnights on board the train, which are also a great opportunity for you to upgrade to sleepers, your own private sleepers, which I'm going to talk about in just a little bit. 
The number one, the number two in a round black circle, that just tells you how many nights you're in each of these great cities. And again, any trip can be customized. Now, this one happens to be round trip from Chicago. But folks, for any of you located in any of the other great states in the United States, if you want to start and end at your local Amtrak train station, you absolutely can do that. You can pick up that phone. Give us a call. That number is listed right at the bottom of your screen, 1-800-268-7252. We are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what I always like to say, you can also contact your local travel advisor who can book any of these packages for you and even flights. They can even book a one-way or a round-trip ticket for you as well. You see, with Amtrak Vacations, we do not book flights. Your travel advisor can not only book any package, but also flights for you as well if you choose. Now, for those of you that are looking more for the Western United States, here's a great package that goes to Seattle and San Francisco, except it's round trip from Washington, D.C. Again, any trip can be round trip right from your local Amtrak train station. These are just some great examples. And in Washington, D.C., a must is going on the double-decker bus tour, which is what you see in the bottom right-hand corner. When I went there with my family, my children loved it. We sat up in the top, which is the open air. And what's great about our hop-on, hop-off tours, everyone, is it allows you to get on and off wherever you would like, wherever they have stops, and stay as long or as short as you would like. Now, when you travel with Amtrak Vacations, all of our trips are FIT, Flexible Independent Travel, which allows you not only to choose between three, four, and five-star hotels, but also even upgrade the rooms in those same hotels, however you best see fit. Now, this trip also includes San Francisco, home of the Golden Gate Bridge, known as the city by the bay, great Italian food, Asian food food, seafood, not to mention Lombard Street. That's what you're looking at right here. One of the crookedest streets in all of the United States. Now, as you can see here, this package spends two nights on board from Chicago out to Seattle, then another two nights on board from San Francisco back to Chicago before going into Washington, D.C. So again, for those of you that want to experience multiple nights on board the train where you can be in your own private sleeper, any of our rail experiences, whether it's our Grand Rail experience, which I just showed everyone, or our Northern Rail experience are certainly packages to consider. And one of the last exciting round trip rail vacations I wanna highlight before we get into the seating and sleeping accommodations is the Grand Canyon round trip package, also from Chicago, all right? And again, any trip can be round trip, wherever you are located, whatever state you are located in the United States. But if you have the Grand Canyon on your wish list, you will not be disappointed. What you're looking at right here, everyone, this is a map of the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And we can help get space most of the time inside these hard to get space lodges. And that's such a great highlight. You see folks, as the rest of the world is certainly a little trickier to travel to right now, right? So many people are turning to trips right here in our own backyard domestically, and many of them are experiencing traveling by train for the first time, and it's such a great opportunity. It certainly brings back that nostalgic way to travel, right? And if you look at this map, everyone, very easy to walk in and around the area. They also have shuttles that can bring you to and from these different destinations to go to the different restaurants or shops, whatever you prefer. But one big highlight, and the way you get to the south rim of the Grand Canyon is traveling on board the train known as the Grand Canyon Railway. You see, this is a Wild West style train. Now, it's only about a two hour train ride, folks, but there's not one package we offer to the Grand Canyon that does not include the Grand Canyon Railway. Why? It's such an iconic train for each of you to experience. All right, it departs right from Williams, Arizona, travels into the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Now, I have another suggestion for all of you. If Grand Canyon is on your wish list, consider upgrading to first class on board the Grand Canyon Railway. You see that part of the train, everyone? You have the big glass dome windows. You have all your snacks and refreshments included. You have two extra large seats on one side, two extra large seats on the other. And there's even a live form of entertainment. 
Now, one of the best highlights, I can never say enough about it, is not only traveling to some of these iconic and majestic national parks, whether it's the Grand Canyon, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone, Yosemite, Bryce, Zion, uh, Rocky Mountains, I could go on and on. We actually traveled to 18 different national parks throughout the United States. The Grand Canyon just happens to be one of them. But one of the biggest highlights, everyone, we can get space most of the time inside these hard to get space lodges. What you're looking at right here is an example of one of them, El Tavar Lodge. You see many of these lodges, folks, they'll book up one to two years in advance. And now more than ever, certainly as so many people are staying closer to home this year, as well as even into next year, space is certainly of the essence now when you do upgrade in any of the hotels here's an example of what a suite would look like and you have that ability on any of our trips whether it's the grand canyon or any of the great cities in the united states to upgrade the rooms inside of the hotels but folks we have tons and tons of different round trip getaway packages and any of our round trip packages can be customized whether it's three four five days long or one two up to three weeks long however you best see fit let's talk about packing for the train for a moment before we get to seating and sleep and accommodations did you know you're allowed two pieces of check luggage for free and two carry-on bags per person for free. Last time I checked, most airlines, there is a charge even for your first piece of luggage unless you're part of a certain elite status. So keep that in mind. That is a big, big highlight. Now let's talk about what it is like on board the train. And one of the nice highlights is, did you know when you upgrade to a private sleeper, you have priority separate boarding? We're going to talk more about that in just a little bit. But before we do, any of you, when you travel on board the train in coach accommodations, all right, I'm gonna give you a big highlight right here, right now. There are no middle seats on board any of our trains. Two extra large seats on one side, two extra large seats on the other. Why is that important? I'll give you the perfect example. Now, some of you may be aware, this year is the 50th anniversary of Amtrak. How cool is that? Been around for 50 years, 5-0. I just traveled to Chicago recently in celebration of the 50th anniversary. And I left from Boston South Station. If you hear this accent, yes, I am based in the Boston area for a great overnight train on the Lakeshore Limited out to Chicago. But due to my work constraints, I did have to fly home. And when you talk about every single seat being filled on that flight, including middle seats, that's exactly what it was on my flight. And when I was on the flight, they served coffee, they served tea, they served drinks as well as snacks, but those masks needed to be on pretty much at all times unless we were having a bite to eat or something to drink and that mask needed to be on right after. We'll see when you're in coach seating on board the trains, we're no different. You have to have those masks or facial coverings on. However, there's some important things to know about upgrading to private sleep and accommodations. And we're gonna talk about that right now. Number one, you have a dedicated car attendant plus included toiletries, bottled water and coffee. You also have your own privacy door, which you can lock from the inside. If you wanna close that curtain for a little nap during the day or in the evening for a good night's rest, you can certainly do that. You also have the ability to order hot, fresh items for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from the menu and have them delivered right to your own private sleeper. Now, some exciting news that I want to share with each and every one of you right here, right now, that starting tomorrow is traditional dining service is being restored beginning tomorrow, June 23rd. Now, this is not on all the trains. Let me repeat this. This is not on all the trains. It's only on select overnight iconic long distance trains. I can give you a couple examples. Empire Builder, which is one of the first packages that I highlighted here today. That's the train from Chicago out over into Glacier National Park over, over to Seattle, and it can go in either direction. The train known as the California Zephyr. That's the train from Chicago out to Denver, out to Salt Lake City, over into Emeryville, right outside of San Francisco. And again, that can also go in either direction. Those are two examples of trains that will be going back to traditional dining service. And what does that mean, folks? 
you will have time to sit in the dining room. An Amtrak attendant, he or she will serve you for any of your meals. It's a sit down meal in the dining area, okay? That's being restored on some of the overnight select journeys, primarily in the Western United States. Now, what you're looking at right here, folks, this is the most popular and the most affordable sleeping category of any sleepers on board the train. And this is the same sleeper that I was just in on my overnight journey from Boston South Station out to Chicago. This is a roomette. Very comfortable, very spacious. You can sit back, relax, enjoy the sight, scenery, sounds along the journey. Maybe read a book, listen to a little music. But here's a big highlight right here, right now. Folks, when that door is closed and those curtains are closed, guess what? You have the ability to take off your mask. You have the ability to take off your facial covering if you choose. I can tell you that's what I did. Once that door was closed and those curtains are closed, guess what? That mask came off just like you would have that same ability if you were in a hotel room. You see, we don't have that option. None of us do, myself included, when we are flying on an airplane. Those masks and facial coverings need to be on at all times, unless you're taking a quick bite to eat or a quick drink. And not to mention roomettes, they're so comfortable. Now, your Amtrak attendant will help you with turn down service in the evening with your sheets and your bedding. Let me give you an idea of what a uh, roomette looks like. Here's a diagram on the right hand side. And what you don't see inside of a roomette, folks, is its own private toilet shower of vanity. Why? Because, because we have what we call private restroom access, private shower access. What does that mean? Just like you'd have at your own homes, we have private yet shared toilets, showers, and vanities right down the hall, just like you'd have at your own homes. And the only people that can use those private toilet showers and vanities private yet shared are only people that are in sleepers now you know yourselves the best if you want your own private toilet shower and vanity inside of your room you're going to want to consider upgrading one more level which is a bedroom now bedrooms as you can see are a little bit larger in size and on some of our overnight trains not all of them but some of our overnight trains you can even request to have adjoining bedrooms so maybe you're a family of five maybe you're traveling with your children grandchildren parents grandparents friends and you want to have two bedrooms side by side where you can open up the door in the middle just ask us or your local travel advisor to tell you more. Now, here's a diagram of what a bedroom looks like. And as you can see, it is larger in size. It is bunk bed style, just like a roomette. But again, it has its own in-room restroom and its own in-room shower. Now, what you may not be able to tell by looking at the picture is the lower bunk bed is actually one and a half times as wide as the top bunk bed. So a bedroom actually allows room for two adults and one small child, which can stay in the lower bed. I will mention we also have accessible bedrooms as well. So keep that in mind. Now, before I share the exciting announcement with each and every one of you, did you know any of you that are traveling with your children or grandchildren, if they are between the ages of two to 12, they'll get 50, 50% oh, 50 off on the rail portion of a package. What is the rail portion? The cost of a ticket. Now this is based in coach seating only, but it is up to 50% if you have any, children between the ages of two to 12. Any of you that are over 65, you can also qualify for 10% off on the rail portion of a package. Again, also based in coach seating, same as military, up to 10% off for any active duty military, your spouse's independence. All right, you ready for the exciting announcement, folks? This is the part of the presentation where I always say, if you have a pen, a paper, a camera, an iPhone, or if you wanna take a screenshot, here is a great limited time special offer going on right here, right now. Now it's a limited time offer. I can confidently tell you it's only going to last for about a week. So from today until next Tuesday, June 29th, any of you that make a small deposit of only $250 to go towards your trip of a lifetime, whether you're looking to travel this year, next year, or even into 2023, Here's how this limited time special offer is working where you can earn up to $500 in free upgrades, all right? If your trip is between three to six nights in length, so three to six nights long, 
you will earn $300 per couple. If it's between seven to nine nights total, you will earn $400 per couple. And if it's 10 or more nights, you will earn $500 per couple. And this is how you can use these free upgrades. You can upgrade your private sleeping accommodations on board the train. Maybe going from a roomette, you can upgrade to a bedroom or upgrading the hotel. Maybe from a junior suite, you can upgrade to a suite or you can add on any additional activities or sightseeing tours. You can upgrade your hotel. Maybe instead of staying at a four star or four diamond hotel, you're at a five star or a five diamond. You can add additional nights at the beginning or end, but you automatically will earn anywhere from three, four to $500 per couple. Now, if any of you are single or solo travelers, you also earn, but you would earn anywhere from 150, 200 to $250 towards upgrading however you best see fit. Now, before I open it up to any questions that any of you may have, and I do see we have some great questions that have come in already, which is fantastic. I'm going to give everyone a minute or two. And by the way, no pressure. I had fantastic answers during my first and second session today. And I know my third session is going to be no different. But if you'd be so kind, everyone, in the right-hand side of your screen, in the question box, just type in for me, what destinations? are you considering for your next vacation, all right? I'm gonna give everyone a minute or two and just type in what great destinations are on your wish list, your bucket list. Where do you wanna travel to domestically here in the United States now more than ever, all right? Feel free to type that in everyone and I'm gonna give everyone a minute or two, all right? We got Sharon, Dallas, Mai, Glacier, Christy, Grand Canyon, Karen, Grand Canyon, Krista, New Orleans, Christy, San Francisco. Uh, we have David, uh, New England during the fall foliage, Glacier, Grand Canyon, oh my goodness, they're coming fast and furious. We have uh, cross country, round trip from Pittsburgh to San Francisco, thank you, Kathy. Los Angeles, Roberta. All right, Vancouver, Canada. Of course, once the borders open, that's going to be a fantastic destination. San Diego and so many more. Keep them coming, everyone. By the way, we do these webinars every Tuesday at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m. We have a team of different presenters focusing on different topics. So come join us for one of our upcoming webinars. But before I open it up to your questions, folks, I just wanted to mention again, we are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That phone number is listed in the bottom left-hand corner. You can certainly visit our website or even better, you can contact your local travel advisor who can book any of these exciting trips, including flights for any of you, either one way or round trip, whatever you choose. All right. So with that in mind, as promised, let's open it up to any questions any of you may have. And we have the first one, Jan. Hello, Jan. Uh, is there a senior discount? So again, Jan, yes. If any of you are 65 or older, you can qualify for 10% off on the rail portion, whatever the cost of the rail ticket is. Again, it is based in coach seating, uh, but you can qualify for up to 10% off on the rail portion of your package, okay? Uh, James, can you please address gratuities? Great question, James. So rule of thumb is when you are overnighting on board the train, everyone, rule of thumb is anywhere from three to $5 per person per night. I'll give you an example. As, as I mentioned earlier, I just traveled recently from Boston South Station on the Lakeshore Limited out to Chicago. It was, a, it was an overnight journey, but our Amtrak attendant, he was absolutely fantastic. I tipped him $20, all right? He was amazing, all right? But it's totally optional to uh, each and every one of you. That's the Amtrak attendant who's dedicated for any folks that are in sleepers. Now, when you have meals, all right, certainly at traditional dining, um, it would be whatever would be a typical tip, 10, 15% for any normal meal. And you can tip um, certainly as you have each meal, but if you have the same Amtrak attendant who's gonna be with you uh, overnight to serve not only dinner, but also breakfast, then you could tip at the end of the next meal. It's, it's either by meal or at the end of your trip if you have the same Amtrak attendant. And I always say just to ask your waiter or waitress if they will be 
uh, there the next morning. If they won't, then of course, that's when I would tip. I always recommend to bring lots of $1 bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, because then you can tip however you best see fit, okay? Great question, James. Thank you so much for asking that. All right, let's see. And we have a uh, part two. When routing from my hometown to Chicago and onto Glacier, are check bags routed to the final destination, or do they need to be picked up and reloaded um, for the next train? Uh, Thank you, Linda. So this one uh, right here, I, I can say when you depart from Chicago, you can actually check in many of the larger train stations. You can actually check in your luggage to your final destination so you don't have to worry about it. Me personally, I like to have my luggage with me on board. Now, I don't bring it inside of my roomette or inside of my bedroom. There's a section in every sleeping car on the first level to store your luggage. I always recommend just have a lock so only you can get into it when you need to it. Uh, need to, but I always have an overnight carry-on bag whether I'm in a roomette or a bedroom. And in that overnight carry-on bag, folks, I have obviously a change of clothes. I have my uh, pajamas, right? I have any snacks. I have any medication I may have to take. I have a good book. I have some good music, right? Basically, you want to have a small carry-on bag with you for the overnight um, when you are in a sleeper. But Again, you have the ability to check in your luggage at any of the major train stations to the final destination if you don't want to have it on board with you, or you can store it on the first level so you can access it if or when needed. Okay, so whatever you prefer. All right, thank you, Linda. Great question. Uh, appreciate it. All right, let's see. Okay, um, Susan, what are your change fees? It all depends on where and when you are traveling. Um, we do offer an optional trip insurance protection plan and any of our vacation consultants can go over that or your local travel advisor but again any of you that book before june 30th of this year to travel anytime this year next year even into 2022 we are waiving any and all change and cancellation fees if you did need to change or postpone your trip okay so that's a great promotion we got going on right now all right uh kathy what is the approximate cost of a bedroom per night kathy it's a great question here's the answer it it varies all of our pricing is live think about if any of you are buying an airline ticket just like if i were to myself if we went online right here right now this morning and then i checked on the same flight schedule later in the day it may be sold out it may be another fifty dollars more twenty dollars more it could be a hundred dollars more it all depends it's all live inventory, so it depends where and when you're looking to travel. That can give you an idea of how much the bedroom would be, okay? Uh, let's see, okay? Uh, just moving along. And by the way, folks, we got lots of great questions. If I don't get to your questions, please know I tried. We have a lot of uh, folks joining us here today. So I'll do my very best. Uh, da -da -da -da, okay. And then, by the way, cross country, seeing lots of great. Oh, thank you, Denise. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate the kind words. Um, what was the name of the first round trip uh, that package Julia is asking? That was called the Grand Rail Experience. Grand Rail Experience. And yes, Julia, um, today's presentation is being recorded. So all of you will get a copy of the presentation that you can listen to again or share with any of your family or friends, okay? Um, Mike, what did the green lines mean again uh, on the map? Great question, Mike. Any of the green lines or light blue lines, those stand for our bus throughway service. Basically, any cities or destinations where the trains do not physically go to, we include a motor coach transfer to those destinations. Again, such as Yellowstone, Las Vegas, Nashville, just to name a few, okay? Great question, Mike. Uh, Mary Lou, can I pack liquor? I'm glad you asked that, Mary Lou, because guess what, folks? When you upgrade to a private sleeper, you absolutely have that ability to bring any alcoholic beverages you would like on board the train. Now, you cannot bring a bottle of wine, as an example, out to the dining area. Whatever you may consume, it does need to be consumed from the privacy of your own room, but it is available for any folks that upgrade to sleepers. Now, coach seating, certainly you can bring uh, any alcoholic beverages, but those need to stay in your luggage at all times, right? You can't open it up out in the open area on board the train. But 
private sleepers, you have that ability, but it has to be consumed, whatever you may consume from the privacy of your own room. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, John, are there options or discounted prices uh, if frequently traveling the same route? Great question, John. Uh, many of you may be uh, Amtrak guest reward members. When you travel with Amtrak vacations, you earn guest rewards that can accumulate and continue to keep building. So definitely be sure if you're not already to be an Amtrak guest relations uh, uh, guest rewards member. All right, uh, let's see, okay. Uh, my, my, hello, my, is there a rental car once we reach the Amtrak station in Glacier National Park or Whitefish? And the answer is yes, there are rental cars, uh, uh, rental uh, car facilities available, all right? Now, this year, I will say, very limited in Glacier, very, very limited. And the reason why is Glacier is only open in the months of June, July, August, and September. So that's one national park if you're flexible, you probably want to call now, literally now, um, us or your travel advisor to plan for next summer. But they do have uh, rental cars available in either location. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Hello. Um, so oh, Danielle is asking, okay, I am taking a train uh, a vacation in a few weeks. I notice on one of my stops, I need a later checkout time. Should I call the hotel now? Uh, about it or wait until I get there. I would actually call now, Danielle, you know, and then when you get there, you could double check. I always say, you know, it's better to do it now and not worry about it than worry about it and then do it later, right? So I would do it now and then you can always follow up later as well. All right. Uh, Lois, are there student discounts? Uh, great question, Lois. Uh, again, uh, the discounts that are offered would be for uh, any children ages 2 to 12. I'm not 100% sure if there may be any uh, students. So Lois, I would just give us a call or contact your local travel advisor if there's any additional discounts for students, okay? Great question. Uh, let's see, okay. Um, Sharon, uh, how do you book the 50% off for kids? I just booked to Chicago and it did not offer me the discount. Great question, Sharon. So again, if it is coach seating, uh, and the children are between the ages of 2 to 12, uh, then they can qualify up to 50% off on the cost of the rail ticket within a package. So if it, if that applies, then just give us a quick call or contact your local travel advisor who can make that adjustment for you. No worries. Uh, let's see. Okay. Alexander, again, what is appropriate porter tipping? Um, Similar to the train, you know, it's, you know, any folks that help you with luggage, they do have red cap service uh, uh, at the train stations. They also have concierge at the hotels. Rule of thumb is $1 per one luggage. So if you have three pieces of luggage, it's $3 that you're tipping uh, any folks that are helping you with luggage. All right. Thanks, Alexander. Um, how do you accommodate guests with physical disabilities? Jane, I'm glad you asked. We have accessible bedrooms, all right, where your folks um, certainly have access to their wheelchair um, that they can store on board the train. We also have hotels that have accessible bedrooms at all the hotels. Now, when you do get to some of the national parks, it depends. Some lodges are a little more uh, flexible than others. So that's a question I would ask any of our vacation consultants or your own uh, travel advisor as well. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Just moving along, moving along. And again, folks, if I do not get to your question, please know I tried. There's so many great questions. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Okay. Christy, uh, if you are overnighting for multiple nights, what should you do about luggage? You know, Christy, if you're spending two or three nights on board the train without getting off, in that case, I would recommend to bring your luggage on board the train. And, and again, they have red cap service that can help you load your luggage onto the train. There's a section in each of the sleeping cars on the first level that you can uh, store your luggage. Again, my advice is just have it locked um, with the lock. So only you can access it when you want and get into it. Uh, but if you have everything you need in a small carry-on bag, then of course you have that ability to check it in at any of the major um, uh, train stations. Uh, Jay Nash, yes, uh, is power available to CPAP? It is. So inside of the sleepers, you do have electrical outlets that can also help with CPAP machines as well. All right, um, Billy, uh, if we take advantage of the $250 per person deposit before June 30th, do we have to pick a destination right away? Great question, Billy. In order to uh, take advantage of uh, the promotion we have going on, 
Uh, not only where you can earn three, four, five hundred dollars per couple, but also our maximum flexibility offer. You would need to have a destination um, with a, a, a date and um, what you would want included. But if you do need to change or postpone or revise that trip, as long as you book before June 30th of this year to travel anytime this year, next year, or beyond, we're waiving any change or cancellation fees. So that's a big, that's a big highlight. All right. So, um, yes, you would need to have the destination picked and the time frame, but it's also knowing you have that flexibility um, as long as you book before June 30th, if you did need to change or postpone it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, great question, Ashley. What exactly is a segment? Uh, is it one round trip? So a segment, Ashley, would be a, here's a perfect example. Northern Rail experience. A segment would be from Chicago to Seattle. That's a segment or Seattle down to San Francisco, that's another segment, or San Francisco to Chicago, that's another segment. So segment is basically one way, uh, one way trains within a journey. Round trip is basically you start and end at the same uh, Amtrak train station. Round trip would include all three of those segments in one round trip, okay? Uh, Julia, thank you so much. Uh, let's see, okay. Uh, Barbara, are there any single penalties and what happens to the short-term discount for a single? Absolutely not any single penalties, Barbara. We love single solo travelers. Probably about 15% uh, of our travelers are actually solo single travelers. Now it is more expensive um, for any single traveler. And that's not just rail, that's sail, that's sun and fun, that's bus tours, any type of travel. It, it will always be more expensive for a single or solo traveler. And the reason why is it's one person in one room versus two people sharing a room. So two people sharing a room, obviously it's going to be less expensive per person versus one person. But of course you have your own room on your own and you have that privacy as well. Okay. Uh, but certainly you also can uh, qualify for any of those great um, promotions that we have going on right now. Instead of it being three, four to five hundred dollars per couple, it's a hundred and fifty, two hundred up to two hundred and fifty dollars for a single solo traveler. Uh, John is asking, are meals included? Yes, we do include uh, some meals, not all meals. It all depends on the packages. T typically, rule of thumb, John, on all of our packages, we're including a handful of meals. It could be a few two or three it could be up to five it just depends on which package we find so many of the travelers actually like the flexibility of not having most meals included because if i were to take a survey of all of you right here right now some of you may want a full buffet style breakfast others of you may want a sit down meal others of you may only want a coffee or a tea others of you may want a muffin or a bagel right and Overall, most of our travelers always love eating at some of the local restaurants in each of these destinations. You see, folks, I'm in New England, right? So if you came here, what do you think I'm going to recommend? Lobster, right? But if I'm going to Chicago, it's all about deep dish pizza. If I'm going to New Orleans, right, it's about the jambalaya and the Cajun style cuisine. And there's so many great local iconic restaurants and any of the um, concierge and the folks at the hotels can give you some great advice and suggestions. And many of the hotels do offer meals as well uh, to keep that in mind. All right. Uh, yes, it will be recorded. Uh, Azita, thank you. Today's uh, presentation is being recorded. Uh, are there any trains from Minneapolis to Duluth uh, in Minnesota? I don't have my map in front of me, but I, I'm pretty sure there are, um, which is good. But any of our vacation consultants can help you with that. Uh, when going on a rail vacation, this is from Sharon, um, does the train stop at all the stations in between or does it go straight through? Great question, Sharon. It does stop at all the train stations, but most train stations, many times, it's literally a five to 10 minute stop. It's people getting off the train and people getting on the train. Now, when it is in any of the larger cities, such as Denver, such as um, Chicago, those stops may be 30 minutes, could be an hour, it could be a couple hours, depending on where and when you're traveling to as well, okay? So just wanted to mention that. Uh, let's see, uh, Azita is asking, can you elaborate on overnight accommodations on the trains for longer trips? Absolutely, so again, when you go overnight on board the train, folks, you have roomettes, which is our first level of sleepers, um, which has two bunk beds. It does not have its own private toilet or shower or vanity inside the room, but you have private yet shared access, meaning 
the toilets are down the hall, just like you'd have at your own home. But if you want your own private toilet, shower, and vanity, that would be a bedroom. Okay, bedrooms are going to be a little more expensive, but they are a little larger in size and certainly available. Uh, here's a great question from Carol. Are the hotels close to the train stations? I'm glad you asked, Carol. The answer is yes. In fact, we purposely partner with hotels that are either within walking distance or a short cab ride from the train stations. And again, you get to choose everyone between a three, four, or five star hotel, three, four, or five diamond hotel. All right. Uh, am I allowed to use a CPAP in a coach seat? Absolutely, Danielle. If any of you need a CPAP machine, um, just let any of our vacation consultants know whether it's coach seating or a sleeper. Um, but yes, you have that ability because you have um, the uh, electrical outlet. Now, whether they only require it in a sleeper, I would just double check that, Danielle, with any of our vacation consultants or your local travel advisor, however you book any trip. Um, but every seat, whether it's coach or whether it's any sleepers, does have its own private outlets uh, on board as well, okay? Um, let's see, John, hello, John. Is the $250 a discount only appl applicable for vacation packages or does the discount also apply to round trip tickets? Great question, John. It, is only applicable applicable to packages, okay? And all that a package means, folks, is it's train, hotel, and sightseeing, or train, hotel, and a meal. As long as it's three components with train and hotel being two of those components, all right? Whether the third component is a, a, a sightseeing tour or a meal, as long as it's three components, you can earn anywhere from three, four to $500 per couple, as long as it's um, a minimum of three to six nights to earn $300, seven to nine nights to earn $400, or 10 or more nights to earn uh, $500 per couple. Uh, Sharon, thank you so much for your kind words. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, here's a good one. Ashley, can you go into more detail on the USA Rail Pass? I could tell you exactly, Ashley. We do not book uh, rail passes with Amtrak vacations. And the reason why is for two reasons. Number one is uh, it's only based in coach seating. Most travelers that go on any Amtrak vacation packages, many of them are upgrading to roomettes, bedrooms, accessible rooms. And the rail pass is only good for coach seating. But the biggest reason why we do not offer it, Amtrak does not guarantee that you your friends and family can get back on the train when you want to get back on the train because it's all based in availability. So whether you want to go back and coach seating or whether you even want to try to upgrade to a sleeper, it's all based on availability. And we just want to always make sure whatever you book, we can get that all set and confirmed for you ahead of time, either with us or through your local travel advisor. Okay, uh, let's see. James, a CPAP does not count as a carry-on bag. So you can bring that in addition, no worries at all. Um, let's see, are any sleepers that accommodate two people on the lower two bunk beds? Great question, Rosalind. Here's what I always suggest. You get two roomettes across the aisle from each other. So if anyone does not wanna be in the, the upper bunk bed, this is, what, uh, this is what I've done many times. A lot of our travelers do it. And it's right across the hall from each other. In the hallway is only about six feet wide it's 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 not it's not overly wide so you're literally right across the hall from one another uh and then this way one person has a lower bunk bed on one side of the roomette and then in the other roomette the other person has a lower uh, bunk bed as well all right otherwise all rooms are all bunk beds whether it's roomettes bedrooms uh or accessible rooms as well uh, accessible rooms actually does have just lower as well but again, those are accessible bedrooms, a little more limited. Uh, alcohol, yes, Kim, is allowed on board the train um, if you are in a private sleeper. And whatever you may consume, it does need to be consumed from the privacy of your own room. If you are in coach seating, you cannot take out any alcoholic beverages on board the train. You can certainly pack it in your luggage. You just can't take it out while you're in the open area. Same applies for any folks that upgrade to sleepers. You cannot bring a bottle of wine out to the dining area in the evening. You can have a glass or two from the comfort and privacy of your own room and then go to dinner uh, or have it afterwards, whatever you prefer. All right. Uh, but it is uh, allowed for any folks 
uh, that upgrades to sleepers at no additional charge. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alexandra, I live in New York. Can I make reservations for the Grand Canyon trip from New York City? And the answer is yes, absolutely, Alexandra. You can go round trip from New York City, Penn Station, out through Chicago, out to the Grand Canyon, and then come back. Or you can do like what I just did. You can go one way, New York through Chicago, Chicago out on the Southwest Chief, out to Arizona before you board on the Grand Canyon Railway out to the Grand Canyon, and then fly home either from Phoenix or Los Angeles and do it as a one way, however you choose. And that's the beauty, folks. Any trips can be customized just the way you like whether you want to add days, take out days, make additional stops along the way, visit family or friends along the journey, that's the best part. Our goal is always to find the right trip at the right price for each and every one of you. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation as much as I enjoyed presenting. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your interest in traveling on board with Amtrak Vacations. And with that in mind, if I did not get to your questions, please know I tried my very best. Don't think twice, pick up that phone, give us a call or even better, contact your local travel advisor to plan your next rail vacation of a lifetime. Thank you again, everyone, and we look forward to having you, your friends, and family on board soon. Take care.